Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, today I had intended to do the Campaign 11 video for Avon, um, but my morning got derailed. Uh, my mother had a mini crisis and it took me a little bit to get that resolved. And I was a little stressed. <laughs> and much time passed and I, it's very gray and gloomy today and I'm like, I really don't feel like up to filming Campaign 11. I don't feel bubbly enough or whatever. And it's getting later in the afternoon right now. It's like 2.30, almost 3 o'clock. And I'm like, okay, how about I film a mask? video because I could use the the pampering, the self-indulgence of a mask session. So I had talked about um, demoing one of the um, masks from the Mother's Day set that Avon has from the face shop. The top of mine is ripped because I um, was messing with it. But um, it's the 10 Indulgent Moments mask set for Mother's Day. Um, so the box is really cute when it's not ripped. <laughs> um, packaging super, super cute. You could just slap a bow on this if your mom uh, is into masking or if you guys do like a spa night or anything like that. I think it's really, really cute. Um, and then um, I'll read you what it says. This is tw $20 and it is currently available. I checked before I did this video because I didn't want to do something that wasn't available for you guys. Um, so it is still currently available, not sold out yet, and it's $20. Um, so it's two bucks a mask, which I think is really, really affordable for a quality mask from the face shop. Um, let me just say this. I, I know I've said it before. I've used masks, sheet masks, and skincare from the face shop a long time ago, prior to Avon becoming under the same umbrella as uh, the face shop, which is LG H&H. &H. Um, always been very pleased with their skincare and especially like the therapy line um, which uh, I've been using now that Avon offered it. Of course we've already discontinued it but I bought bag gloves. Dr. Bell Muir. Just so many good brands um, from the face shop and under the LG h, &H umbrella. So when I saw that we were beginning to offer these products, I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled because I had already experienced them and I knew how quality they are. So most of these masks I have used in the past and I can absolutely tell you it, the ones I used before, fabulous. So we're going to go over uh, what's in here and then we'll pick one and we'll get started. So make time for masking. These indulgent sheet masks infused with natural extracts help enhance the appearance of your skin within minutes. Contents 10 of the Face Shop Real Nature Sheet Masks. Target your skincare concerns with the following masks. Aloe for soothing and moisturizing. Green tea for clarifying and hydrating. Blueberry for firming and revitalizing. Honey, which is hydrates and boosts radiance, one of my favorites. Avocado, moisturizes and nourishing. The avocado is fantastic if you're dry. It is so good. Red ginseng for firming and nourishing. Lemon increases radiance. And lemon is also a clarifier. So if you have like clogged pores or you just, you know, your skin is feeling like kind of dingy, you can really clean it up with the lemon uh, mask. Pomegranate revitalizes and restores. Rice for softening and brightening and potato for cooling and moisturizing. And then it has the directions on it. Begin with a clean dry face, remove from packet, unfold, place the mask on your entire face, smooth it to fit the curves, adjust around your eyes and nose, remove after 10 to 15 minutes and pat in the remaining content to absorb into your skin. So I said I thought I would use the blueberry for firming and revitalizing. Now I'm kind of thinking of, do I want pomegranate, red ginseng? We'll go with the blueberry. That is the one I said I was going to use, and uh, I have nothing on my face right now. So I have washed my face with the Avon Rice Water Bright Face Shop Cleanser, Foaming Cleanser, and I haven't put anything on. Um, usually, I mask, the way I mask is I put something on my skin first. So I'm going to, like a light layer of moisture just to help better absorb the, um, you know, so your skin's not so dry that it just sucks it in like a sieve. You know, you want... Um, it to absorb to its maximum potential. So I, um, I'm going to use this Jeju Aloe uh, from the Face Shop Avon. I think this comes out in campaign tw uh, 12. And I'm just going to lightly spray it all over my face. I showed it in a video the other day in my haul video and so nice. Smells so good and the sprayer is amazing. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if that's too light, if you could see that or not, but oh my gosh, fantastic sprayer. So I'm going to let that, I kind of pat that in a little bit. Just the slightest bit of hydration to get me started. And let's pull the masks out, and I'll show you what each one of them looks like. And then we'll apply the blueberry. So here we have a green tea. 
I'm going to use this one, the blueberry. We got honey, pomegranate, potato. I always think potato is kind of a funny one. Avocado, red ginseng. I should have done all that one too to see if it smells like dirt. <laughs> Here's that lemon. Uh, aloe, fabulous to have aloe masks on hand, especially now that warm weather is upon us, and the rice. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to do the blueberry, and I'll see if it says anything different on the back of it. Um, this sheet mask with blueberry extract creates a firming moisture barrier to revitalize and energize skin. Um, pretty basic. We can do that. So, yeah. So let's take a look. We'll just see, you know, I mean, I'm not like glowy too much or anything like that. You know, uh, I don't know. Can you see my lines and all my redness and my yuckiness? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. I'm going to cut it with my little Avon scissors. I have about 100 pairs of these little Avon cuticle scissors and I use them for everything. I have one in my purse, like I have like three in my bathroom. <laughs> I have them all over the house because I just want to have them. So opening the packet here, let's see. We'll give it a sniff. Slightly, slightly blueberry fruit scented. Very, very slight. And you can see the mask is down in there. We're going to reach in and pull her out. If I can. So it's probably going to be... Okay. So can you see how wet that is? So it's nice and wet. I personally like a soggy mask. And I'm going to try to unfold it. All the masks are folded differently. So sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out which way the folds go. Okay, here we go. Unfolding this way. Then I'm going to unfold this way, and then we'll unfold it. So anyways, I kind of like my masks on the drippier side. I know, like, some people don't. That's a pet peeve of theirs. But actually, in the Korean beauty world, the uh, drippier a mask is, the better. You get the most essence for your money, and uh, you can save the essence in the packet and reuse it. So this mask is really thin, which is nice because it'll adhere really good to your face. The thinner a mask is, the better it's going to cling. So I'm going to go ahead and place it on. You can see it's sticking. It's kind of hard to use this. I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror, so if you wonder what I'm looking at. i got it folded up a little bit right here. But not that that's anything like a big deal or anything, but I'm going to try to pull it so that it, well, I don't know if I can grab a hold of that completely or not. I'm kind of fussy about my sheet mask application. <laughs> I like it to fit as well as it can. I'm gonna put that down there. Nice and thin. I really, really like that. Okay, smoothing it down. It's a pretty good fit. I have a large face. You guys know that. Um, some Korean or some like Korean masks are. And now I'm rubbing the essence into my hands, and I do that frequently <laughs> throughout the time that the mask is on. Um, some Korean brands, um, some masks, the eye holes and the mouth holes are cut small because. Asian women traditionally usually have a little bit smaller eyes than Western uh, eyes, than Anglo, you know. Um, um, we have rounder shaped, obviously, and theirs are more almond. And so the cutout is a little bit different. Now with this one, and I do have big eyes, you know, my, my eyes are, are big. Um, so I can kind of feel that at the corners here, but it's not anything that's going to bug me because I'm so used to masking and how they feel and everything like that. The mouth hole is a little bit small, but I'm going to kind of see if I can redo that. But the mask is fitting very nicely. It's very, very comfortable. The scent, it was like the lightest, lightest fruit scent is already dissipating. So, I don't have my phone handy to see what time it is, but what I'm going to do is come back. We just applied, and I'm going to wait. Now, this says 10 to 15 minutes, but I'll be honest with you guys, the way this mask feels, I'm probably going to leave it on closer to 20 to 25 because 
because it's very moist and I want to get the full experience out of it so that's just my thing you can do whatever you want if you only like 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever you're still gonna get benefits I personally leave them on as long as possible I probably have cat hair on my shirt today too so whatever the, the whole day has not gone as I planned <laughs> so anyways I will um, come back I'll let you guys know how long it took before the mask started to lift when it starts to dry it'll start to lift like the edges and corners will start to lift and I will give you the rundown and we'll see if we can see a, a, a difference in me all right be back in just a bit okay guys I'm back so it's been about 25 minutes um, and you can see that the mask has started to dry like uh, around the mouth and nose area it's kind of lifted. I don't know if you can see. It's like loose around my mouth. And it's also starting to lift here. A little bit around this side. So usually when your mask starts to dry out, that's what it, you'll notice it because it'll start lifting. You know, or you'll push it back down and it still doesn't want to cling as well as it did. Or whatever. So that's basically when it's time to... Um, take it off. I forgot to mention in the beginning, I do, ha the only thing I did have on was, um, I know I sprayed first with this, but I did have my Dr. Bell Muir Sika lip balm on. Um, I can't mask without lip balm. I know that's a weird thing. <laughs> it's kind of, it's strange, but, um, yeah, I just, I, so I did have my Dr. Bell Muir Sika lip balm on first. I don't like to mask with dry lips. I don't know what it is, just a personal preference. Very strange of me. I know weird but anyway so we're gonna peel her off and see how we look uh let me where can i put this i don't know i don't have, I, I don't want to get it on my desk so anyway sometimes then i just take the mask and i fold it up and i rub it on my arms you know and back of my hands to get as much out of it as i can let me grab a tissue here put it on a tissue and that way it won't get sticky stuff on my desk so so now you can see I'm still a little bit wet from it and I'm just gonna kind of pat all that in so that it tries to get absorbed completely and I'll let you know if it feels tacky when we're done so usually within three or four minutes I can tell whether or not this is going to be like absorbed in fully or if I'm going to have tackiness, which I hate a tacky mask. Sometimes a, a great mask, though, is worth it, even if it is tacky because the benefits are so good. Leaders, I'm looking at you. <laughs> My leaders masks are like that. A lot of them are uh, tacky finish, but they're so good. And that's why I'll do those when I don't have anything to do or I'm not getting like I'm not ready for bed yet, because sometimes they'll take an hour to two hours to completely absorb in. And the effects are so good but that's a long time to walk around with a sticky face or try to lay down and go to bed so but yeah um this I can tell you is not going to be a tacky mask I can just feel it it's not tacky at all it's absorbing in really nicely really nicely um just a little bit about what I have left in here so there is serum left down in the pouch I don't know let me see if you'll be able to see it. I don't know if it's enough to actually see yes but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see let's okay can you see down in there that there's some serum collected down in the bottom just a little bit it's still enough for me to use again um, tonight when I do my nighttime skincare routine I'll use this as my first step so um, really nice to be able to have that extra essence or a lot of people use it for their necks chest hands legs whatever um, I have a friend that she'll do her whole body with what's left in here if she can um, I do like to put it on my neck and chest if I can um, uh, but I usually do it like usually I'll do it mostly on my face so I usually just fold it over and then clip it with like a hair clip or have a clothespin or something um, and it keeps it secure uh, and fresh enough for one day what I would not recommend and I know that people do that is they will take their used mask and they will basically like stuff it back into the pouch and then pull it out and reuse it again I wouldn't do that um, it's up to you, but I wouldn't recommend it just because to me it's not sanitary. Now I started this with a completely clean face and if that's, you know, 
if you were going to do that, if you were the person that insists on doing that, I would always make sure that your face is super clean before you mask. And then after that, if you want to wad it up, but don't do that. I mean, I just think it's a waste and you can, or not a waste. You can use your essence up that's left in the bottom without a mask and still have it work good. So you're not wasting the essence. I just personally do not feel like I would not want to put this back on my face 12 hours later. I just wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't feel comfortable with that. Just my thing, um, but I know a lot of places do not recommend using the mask again. So, okay, we're almost completely absorbed in. I don't have just the slightest bit of tackiness, and I know that will dry down in probably another 10 minutes or so. So you can see definitely I have some radiance. I definitely have uh, more glow than I had before. I feel like I'm a little bit plumped. In my forehead especially um, feels bouncy that's one of the words I don't know that's not a technical term <laughs> for skincare but my skin feels bouncy when I touch it it doesn't feel it feels like it's plumped up a little bit so so yeah I'm pleased I mean I'm pleased I think it was a great experience for a two dollar mask fantastic you know um, really really pleased and I I just enjoyed it a lot I think it was it's definitely a quality I can see the difference from when I started I actually kind of think I feel like my redness is a little bit diminished slightly my redness is always an issue but I do feel like it's been slightly diminished as well so so that's always a positive um but I enjoy masking it's something I like to do I know it's not for everybody some people don't like the claustrophobic feeling of something on your face to me it's not claustrophobic but for some people it is that doesn't bother me at all um I really enjoy using the the um face masks and um yeah looks good but like I can tell you guys and I said it already but I'll say it one more time I've used these masks before before Avon carried them and I can tell you that they're good quality masks so I would say even though I haven't used the whole set yet it's it's a good deal it's a good deal it's a nice mask set you're not gonna there's not a bad one in the bunch I bought as far as I know there's not gonna be a bad one in the bunch so so I would definitely recommend I will put them the link for them in the description section below as well as a link to the lip balm that I like and then this is coming out until like I said campaign 12 so can't link that yet but um um let me know if you enjoyed this video I would be happy to do another one I'd kind of like to try the ginseng one next and see what happens with that um and then I want to use the Dr. Brown New York Sika peptide um sheet mask for you guys that isn't a limited edition this set is a limited edition because it's only for mother's day um so when it's gone they're gone completely but the Dr. Brown Muir ones as far as I know aren't going anywhere so and then we have a new aloe cooling one coming out soon too, so I'll be glad to try that. But I really just enjoyed that. So let me know what you guys think, question or comment below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.